Hi, I'm making this video to specifically help uh, the users of my Proto 2 preset who have run into a specific issue, but um, in doing that, I'm also going to talk about a really, uh, I think, pretty cool feature in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve, especially if you use the Fusion page a lot. Um, this might help you out or it might just be cool to learn something new about Fusion. Um, but here's the issue. Um, I have my Proto 2 effect and it has an edit page version and a Fusion page version. And the Fusion page version is meant uh, to be uh, like a single node you can put into a larger Fusion comp, you have more control, you can open it up, do all sorts of stuff. But I've now released a few different ways to actually install Proto. It's a little bit of a more complicated preset, so you have to do things a little bit differently. Um, but in that effort, some things have changed. Um, in the initial installation, you could just shift click and do your normal select tool search and type in Proto, but if I do that now, nothing is there. There should be a Proto underscore effect here for you to use in Proto. That's what I show off in my initial Proto V2 video. But that was with shift space. But did you know, you also have control shift space. Uh, that previous tool, like I said, just shift space is select tool and control shift space is select action. And uh, this actually uh, will search in numerous different folders and you know different areas of Fusion that that first select tool doesn't search in. Now if I start typing in here, making sure it is select action, proto, we have proto v2 effect. It wasn't there before, it is now. If I click add, it'll add that in. I can drop it on that timeline. Make sure I'm previewing and boom, we had text. Now we have protoized text. And again, all those same controls you are familiar with. Uh, if you want it to be solid, you can do that too. Uh, proto, but in the Fusion page, uh, which uh, a lot of you want because it's cool. <laughs> but this different search action function actually has a lot more going on. You can just see if I do it control shift search and start to scroll, we have lots of different options, uh, including things like uh, here, play mode. If I do that, boom, it'll just start like playing my clip inside Fusion. But a really cool thing about this search action is it also searches these folders in the effects library under templates Fusion. I created this Sterling Supply Company folder, dropped Proto in there. That is where this expanded search functionality is finding this preset. But we also have several other options. We have tools, particles, lens flares, and motion graphics. I've shown this off in a really old video, but if you've never clicked through these, super useful. And they also show up in this expanded search feature, like if I control shift space, if I start typing in radar, we have two entries for radar now. If I go to radar two, add that, it adds in this entire node tree. And if we preview that, we have this really slick radar system with particles and the sweeping line and the particles, you know, change color as they go. This is super cool. I've talked specifically about this effect multiple times because I think it is an excellent jumping off point to engaging with nodes deeper and really breaking apart effects to learn more about them. But here it is also a really great example of you know, what adding control to a keyboard shortcut um, really expands. So uh, if you want to mess around with these, you can click through them or, you know, just start typing into that search bar, see what comes up. Or if you want to mess around um, with uh, just performing more actions inside Fusion, control shift space gets you that select action option. Of course, if you've had Proto installed and have been missing it on the Fusion page, this also is where you can get access to it uh, for that pure Fusion version. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.